folks. Um, you find me this morning, just about to set off on a motorcycle wild camping trip. Been a while coming this one, I know. So uh, stay tuned, just have a bit of breakfast and uh, find out where I'm headed. Just going to get a bike packed up in a minute, but just enjoying a bit of breakfast. See you in a minute. Stopped off for a bit of a break, something to drink. Oh, warm again today, it's about 25. I'm in the Yorkshire Dales, glorious day. Uh, just parked up. There's the bike, those are the sort of roads I've just come along. So, heading off into the hills, gonna try and find somewhere just to get a bit of a wild camp done and uh, see how we go. So yeah, uh, been a bit of a while coming this one, so uh, I brought my tent this time, just in case. But I've um, I've also going to try just using the tarp and just my sleeping bag, so it's going to be warm enough tonight. Well, let's just see how we get on. It's four o'clock. I should get where I want to go. <coughs> Which incidentally is up near Tan Hill, Yorkshire Moors. In trouble when it's warm. <coughs> In order to speak to you guys properly. <laughs> the microphone and the helmet. Gotta shut the vents up, otherwise there's uh, too much wind noise. I think we're going the right way here now. He says. And uh, I'm looking for a nice, shall we say, Peaceful spot to get away from it all. So let's see where we can find. And if we can't find anywhere, then there's always the uh, Tan Hill Pub. Near the old church, that by the looks of it. On the way up to Hawes. Couldn't wish for better weather today. Really nice. But then again, we have been lucky uh, all year up to now. It's been absolutely glorious. The bike, really. Looks like a nice pub, do not it? People sat outside. Now where'd you go? Left. 
can't beat the English countryside, can you really? You really can't. Right, over and out. I'll uh, talk to you a bit further up. Right, in the area. This is that picture of a road. Do it in one go. Oh, I fucking hate this road. <laughs> oh, they always cock it up. Oh, oh Jesus. That's when the explorer comes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Yeah, pin bends, I just love them. Jesus. Probably get a bit of a slating for if I put that on. <laughs> when the explorer is low speed you know it's it's, it's a big bike to uh, to turn. <clears throat> I know uh, I struggle with this with uh, you've had on the back when we got over you know, if anyone's ever done the apple cross road in scotland then you know what i mean but the tight one but that one there is particular really steep and really it always catches me out so just got to be careful i don't want to be stopping here if i can help it keep going come on come on ladies Okay, ladies. Right, we're starting to climb now. We'll come back in a bit when uh, I'm up on the top, I think. And I'm up on the top. Uh, got to the Tannehill pub. Quite a few people about. I'm just wondering uh, if I can manage to do some going on here, isn't it? The building work, and the people set up. Campsite, not that many people really. She goes over there, and where you can see there's people over there, some yurts over there as well. Well, they all are going to go in a bit, that's what we're wondering. <coughs> Where I wanted to go, I kind of risk it. Can't get through. <coughs> There's too many people about. So I need a spot <coughs> which is uh, out of people's eye basically. And there is always the uh, part of the bike over there and use the campsite, I guess. <coughs> mm. 
Right, get back to you when I've uh, found my spot. You alright getting the gate mate? Yeah. Cheers bro. This surface is uh, a little bit gnarly. I don't look it, but it's really deep gravel. Some of the forest tracks have gone a bit easy. This is uh, this is quite tricky. It's really deep rooted gravel. Not the best stuff to be riding on. Not the big heavy bike anyway. And uh, once you nearly have a tumble like you did before, then you kind of think, right, okay. I found my spot. Uh, it's here. Yeah, looking at grass in a minute. There's your sun over there. So the sun's going to set, I think, over here, in the east, sorry, in the west, and then <clears throat> there we are on a byway, and uh, in the middle of nowhere, bike's pinking a bit, but really bouldery, proper rough stuff, you hit in one of them, and then, uh, not, not big, but Trust me, when you're moving along and you hit one of them, then the wheel wobbles, then you think, oh shit. Anyway, so I've come along, I've probably done about, what, two miles into it. This is me. A few bees flying around. But yeah, this is like a big panoramic view. Here's the bike. Pop a hard surface, but I will put a puck underneath it, just in case, if in case you're wondering. You can sleep on my floor Anytime you come to town I promise you safe passage I'm keeping my mouth shut now Things don't change much in the valley we eat and drink just like we did before You've already lost a fortune Ask yourself why pay more And I rattle on And I rattle the walls And I'll make it through Till big Must have been so crazy 
in the hollow A little sooner than it does on the crest You and I are nocturnal But it, it pays the rent showing me set up uh, I kind of done it a little bit different this time but uh, I'll just show you so what I've done <clears throat> I've just used uh, the outer of the tent and uh, kept because it's going to be too warm tonight I reckon he says uh, got me a little stool and uh, what I've done is just the outer so pillars in there sleeping bags folded over ready to go put my helmet in there so nothing will get in it and uh, what I've done is in the DD tarp I was going to use it over the top but not bother is underneath uh, and underneath that is actually the sort of inner of the tent and I've also using um, I've got a poncho with me just in case it chucks it down so I can get in that and inside like a kind of um, it doubles up as a uh, bivvy bag so that's me set up so pretty stuff head torches all ready to go and for the night time but it's what time is it now it's quarter to seven so um catch you in a bit right so for all you that are asking me in previous videos what a, what a puck is um that's a puck goes underneath your side stand just disperses weight off it. It's got a fairly big footprint anyway, so so it doesn't dig in the uh, in the ground. But this is stony anyway. That's the way I've come. But yeah, nothing about. All you can hear is uh, just the grouse and uh, the odd sheep. But apart from that, that's nothing. And the odd fly or bee buzzing about. And there is sort of farmland or farm. Bit of civilization just over there. In the distance. Just wondering folks, if anybody else has a problem with stools when they go wild camping. And no, I don't mean those kind of stools. I mean these kind of stools. Look, I've already broke that again. Oh, I don't know. Just quickly show you what's on tonight's menu. Obviously, got me a little, little whiskey. Uh, I've got a starter, some John West salmon. A lovely uh, pork chop, some oriental style noodles I think, right. wasn't expecting midges, we're just catching oh. now, take my boots off, oh. that's the old touches. Better be careful though. I was walking around before, put my shorts on. Put my foot on that. Ouch. Well, so much for that then, eh? Unbelievable. Anyway, moving on to um, crouch down a bit. I normally carry my knife and everything in, um, I'm sure you can see me, in uh, a pouch <clears throat> and I have that clipped on the side of my rucksack, always have that, but I was forever, uh, you know when you want to use multiple things, losing things and going back, so what I've done, 
designed this so it goes around your neck so I've got my knife and uh, I've got attached to it me steel or ferrous rod it's only a little one it's perfect for lighting um, uh, gas or your fires or cotton wool balls or whatever now point to note on this as well um, I'm on the moors and there's no way that I'm lighting any fires or anything like that because I see signs of scorch marks in various places so there's no way there's going to be any fires of any sort tonight to cook food on it's going to be on the little gas stove and that is it I'm going to be really careful when I use that as well so it's been really dry this time this year and uh, there's been loads happening up on the moors so I don't want to be causing anything like that so no way so when you're out there folks just be careful of anything like that um, this also carries a little compass on it which yeah it kind of works so you can see it I don't know but talking of compasses and things you might have noticed that um, I've been showing like the time and stuff on this on this watch so I'll show you I, I treated myself to this watch uh, a few weeks ago and uh, it is a brilliant bit of kit so it's a new Casio, Casio G-Shock Rangeman and uh, anyway I'll just show you a few features of it so you can see there the nice chunky style watch I mean the word protection is on there it's got a GPS navigation it's the world's first um, GPS navigation watch which is solar powered if you see the ring around the edge there that's all where the solar comes up um, they're chunky I, lo I love this watch I needed a new one the other one was about 16 years old so if you see they're like um, triple sensor on it it's even got a carbon fiber strap so uh, mud resist you can throw this off a building and uh, it'd be fine and drop it under I think it's uh, water resistant to really deep um, I think it's about I'll, I'll write up and put some text on how, how deep it goes typical me always forget things so quite hard to do this actually with uh, behind you behind the camera or the phone um, right so I'll show you some of the features so what you do you can see there I like a main toggle button uh, you can connect to your phone so it can work it as an app and it'll show you like a map for for, for pre-doing um, sort of routes a useful feature compass you can see there where the arrow points is north and where um, the 12 o'clock is is um, the direction so if I point it there then you see there we're ready north where 12 is basically so that's the compass feature and it also has and used it um, last Saturday when uh, we climbed Scarfell Pike there was eight of us so it's just showing you now how high up I am an altimeter so about 1280 feet currently does that say 80 yeah so I'll come out the altimeter it's also got a barometer but what you need to do with this is um, have it off your wrist for about uh, 20, 20 minutes or so so that's cur currently reading what 25 degrees probably dropped a little bit less now but it's still warm and then on the left hand side you've just got the, uh, the battery indicator And it also the barometer shows you like a, a pressure graph as well so when the lines are on there then it'll show you whether the weather's going to change or not so really useful uh, all like different time zones um, it even gives you sunrise and sunset so like in the morning I want to get up and try and do like the sunrise now uh, it's gonna set in about what half an hour so 
find that useful and then 13 minutes past five that's when the sun up so I know then if I set my alarm I'll uh, want to get the sunrise you got to use oh tell you what else it's got tide and moon so I've not really used that but it shows you when uh, obviously the tide comes in so if I go for a wild camp eventually on um, like a kind of a I don't know on uh, on the coast then I'll know when the tides in and currently I was like close to Fleetwood the other day so I thought I'd just enter that in so a couple of features there without going too much into it you got your usual stopwatch timer world time I've got god knows how many world times on it and then back to that and then you can show different displays of how it goes and the alarms and airplane modes and it, it's got loads of features so dead nice chunky buttons um, it even you set that even finds your phone that's not working because I've got a microphone on so yeah that's the watch new range man um, this should last me for well if it lasts me as long as the other watch did 16 years I'll be very happy but a proper rugged design and uh, the features if you you like the great outdoors then you you will find everything useful let's get back to the normal time and if I'm honest my other watch I couldn't even see the date on it anymore because yeah I'm getting old folks the eyesight's growing a little bit so that's the watch so Wednesday uh, the 25th of July so you'll probably say uh, when the time I upload this video will be a be a while it normally is but that's the watch folks sun's gone down and then I just noticed behind us Mr Moon's up there I'll zoom him up a bit see him top of the pitch I tell you what uh, temperature's dropped a bit now um, gone a bit chilly you know if I put my pants on and uh, put this warm jacket on but yeah it has dropped a bit so I'm gonna get myself a coffee and uh, I think we'll have tea get the uh, get some food going get a bit um, packish now so put a bit of warmth back in the body but yeah temperature has dropped rather quickly and uh, let's get it going nice cup of coffee I had to use a tent peg because it doesn't reach just enough so just to bridge the gap just carefully grab a nice cup of coffee and get into it with um some honey and a nice drop of whiskey so uh, this is what me on tonight whiskey wise um, Viking single malt really nice water does not have to be boiling for coffee because it burns it and uh, I don't mind it black
Players on your chest. Cheers. Oh, I thought it was something there then, but it's just a big thistle. <laughs> Got me noodles. Can't see you because I'm looking at a bright light. <clears throat> now let's get this gas back up again. Some water left for those noodles. Like the seasoning sauce. Another bit. I think you're supposed to put the noodles in first, I think, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, getting it all in. Careful stir because I don't want oil in there. Right, get that soaking. Turn the heat down a bit. Noodles are done. Right, so there we go, one lovely cooked pork chop and some noodles. So I'm going to have a, a bit of a feed and uh, I'll see you in a bit. And I think it might be time for crash out, it's going to get, get a bit dark to film. Is it me or does meat kind of um, taste a lot better when you eat it off a knife? I don't know why. Mm. Can't beat that. All right, guys. I'll um, I'll touch up in my tent. I'll cozy now. And uh, so I just got the outer. The only thing is a little bit of condensation on the uh, on the inside of the tent. But maybe I've had it open, so I don't know. So, oh, pretty tired now. So, uh, 
I'm not going to say much now, but um, I am feeling a bit sleepy, and uh, it's it's actually quarter to one. Where does the time go? So it just seems to disappear quite quickly. So I'm going to bid you farewell, and I'm going to try and get up uh, for the sunrise. So I set me alarm, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. So so the uh, the bugs don't bite, so to speak. Right, all the best, see you in the morning. Cheers. See the sun's up. Oh, how did I know uh, you know that already? <laughs> ah, well, slept pretty well. Uh, really still night. But yeah, a little bit of a, when I did nod off, I had a really weird dream that um, some guy was walking past and clearing his throat coffin and then there's this people were kneeling in on the tent and like young voices it was proper really weird dream and then I woke up like Whoo! but uh yeah apart from that I slept pretty well and uh anyway I think it's time for um uh, breakfast and uh shall we say ablutions at the minute right so catch you in a minute Can't beat a good coffee in the morning, can you? No whiskey. Obviously, I'm driving. I had a little bit last night. And a can of lager. Bacon's on, you can hear it sizzling. my hand up as well, or hand. So bacon butty, no butter, because with the heat yesterday I thought it might uh, turn into obviously uh, runny butter. And uh, for the saucy, sauce aficionados among them, which I know is a few, um, this time I'm going for a bit of brown So sorry tomato sauce guys, you had that last time So brown <laughs> Nice and crispy
Well that's breakfast done. I'm just stood here looking at the clouds and the weather and uh, I don't know about you guys I've just been consulting the uh, my watch and I've got it on the barometer on the graph there at the bottom you see it drops <clears throat> it shows you that there's a drop in uh, pressure so when it shows that then you might be looking at well in for bad weather temperature at the bottom uh, it's not going to be that accurate because it's been on my wrist I've just took it off but um, a bit chilly and uh, I don't know what you guys think but I think it's going to rain and it's supposed to be down as a scorcher again today well, looking at them clouds I think it's gonna rain. What do you guys think? Looking at the weather, um, I'm gonna head on home. Uh, looks like it's gonna rain. Need to get back anyway. Right, so we're gonna get packed up and uh, speak to you in a minute. Just before I do um, get going, special mention uh, to one of my subscribers, John Sinclair, who on the way here to the, uh, yesterday, uh, I actually seen him on, in his car on the M60 and we, uh, we waved to each other. So uh, another wave, John, and uh, all the best to you. He was uh, my thousand subscriber winner, um, uh, give the giveaway to, so big thumbs up to you. Talking of thumbs up, um, obviously please like, share, subscribe and I hope you enjoyed it as much as what I did. Uh, it's been a bit different, um, sort of really open and free and a nice relaxing one this one, I've enjoyed it. I must admit the last one to Scotland I felt a little bit of, bit of a failure really but hey ho. Well yeah it's been good and uh, if you are planning on doing anything just get your bike out and get out there you, you won't regret it first time you camp on your own at night can be a little bit daunting I do realize that but um, you know you switch your brain into other things and uh, just get on with it <clears throat> but yeah again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it um, I know it's been a bit of a while coming this one people have been waiting when are you doing a motorbike one I mean, it's 20 to 7 in the morning now, I'm going to get back home, it's my other day off, you don't always get a chance to, to get out and do things, And uh, but it's I like to do things as often as possible, but not only like to do the bike stuff, but I like to do, go on a hike, because it, it seems quite tricky with a, with a bike in this country, just disappearing, especially a big one, um, I mean this path up here is really loose big loose gravel and everything so uh anything if you do take your bike on this sort of road just take care because believe it or not on the way in i nearly dropped it so uh i'm going to take care on the way back so again all the best guys hope you enjoy watching and uh stay tuned for the next one all the best and always remember always the adventure thanks very much Remember to leave it as you found it guys, and remember if you're on the moors, be careful, no fires, it's not worth it. Don't get me wrong. This means to me Just think
on my way home.